This is the Wireless World computer. The design was published in the UK magazine Wireless World as a four part series in 1967. <clears throat> it's a serial based machine. The original design was 450 odd germanium transistors uh, God knows how many diodes. It's now silicon transistors and silicon diodes. Point out some of the elements. There are three stores in the machine. Store 1, Store 2, Store 3. Three registers. The register itself, which I can actually put data into using the input unit. The accumulator, which is where the results of any are arithmetic operations appear and the counter which is used in multiplication and division which we'll come to in a moment. So if I put just the value 3 into the register so that's 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 3 in decimal. I can add that to the accumulator with instruction 1. If I press start It's added that register to the accumulator. So if I press start again, I would expect to have six in the accumulator. There we go. And I think you saw the carry light flash as it was moving the carry along as well. If I run that again, I would expect to have nine in the accumulator. There we are. I can copy the accumulator to one of the stores, which is instruction 121. So that's 121 and start. That's copied the accumulator, the 9, over to store 1. I can clear the accumulator with instruction 120. That's 120. Start. Now I can actually multiply the register by store 1 with instruction 11. 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1. So that should multiply the 9 in store 1 with the 3 in the register to give me decimal 27. It stopped and the counters counted up to the same value as store 1. Um, it's detected that they're equal. And the answer is 24, 25, 26, 27. 3 times 9, 27. I can reset the whole machine. Well, I can reset the register. I can reset the counter. And reset general. Now I won't reset general. <coughs> Let's copy the value in store 1 back to the accumulator. This is instruction 221. 221. So the value that's in the accumulator should be replaced with what's in store 1. There we are. So I can copy between registers at this stage and in and out of the store. I can do multiplication and addition. Subtraction isn't working at the moment and neither is division, probably for the same reasons. Division actually is similar in the sense to multiplication that it will repeatedly subtract a value from the accumulator until the top bit goes, um, well, effectively until it goes negative and then adds the same value back in again so I can get the result and the remainder. Let's clear the machine. So let's give it something a bit more involved to do. Let's set a nice big value in the register. I'm going to copy that to store 1 
which is one one one. And actually, I could multiply the two together, and I could actually. S well, let's just multiply by two for the moment. I'm going to clear the register. Let's put two in the register. And I find instruction 11, 0, 1, 1, and multiply. Nearly there, you should probably use smaller numbers next time. Very shortly the it should stop because the counter should get to the same value as store one and the equal light will come on at the end of the uh, multiplication. Boom boom, done. And reset.